Hello everybody, um, I haven't been able to come on um, much um, lately and everything, um, I just, um, I don't know where to start really, but, um, I just, you know, um, it all happened, um, like, um, a couple, um, a few, two or three nights ago, and, um, I know that people would say, t some people would think, oh, you know, he was only a hamster, he was not a dog or a cat or a baby or a kitten or something, but, you know, and people might say you only had him for 18 months, but, you know, to me, I, you know, um, he, he was, you know, um, um, loved from my heart, it does, you know, I feel that it doesn't matter what it is, great or small, you know, whatever creature it is, if you love it with all your heart, the pain is still the same and everything, and it doesn't matter if you've known someone for a year or a hundred years, um, you know, when you lose that someone, it's, you know, still hurt uh, just the same and everything, and it's just, um, he started to deteriorate, um, like, um, he started to go down hill first, and I kind of like, in a sense, wish that I could sort of pick up on the signs earlier and everything, but, you know, I just thought that he had a little sickness and that he would get better and everything, and then that night when I, um, left for work, I, um, saw him and he was um quite limp but alas i didn't nobody had transport to take him to the vets and that at the time <sighs> when i came back he was um sorry it's really hard to talk about it's just the memory is so Memory is so vivid and everything. I just saw him in this lifeless body there, and he was he was just so limp and everything. He just you know past. He just sort of like went from being bright and healthy and having vitality and that in just a few days and deteriorated so fast and just seeing his lifeless body there was horrible and I had to pick him up and I put him on my shoulder like this and I cried and I cried and my son ran downstairs and saw him too and he was upset and we called my father and that and we were brother and father we took him to the vets and you know I really thought that um that maybe the vets could do something for him and I thought that they could and everything I really thought that because um, for a brief moment he, um, because at first he couldn't close his eyes and every, I mean he had his eyes closed and couldn't open his eyes but when they, I took him to the vet and they said that he was cold and they were trying to warm him up and they opened his eyes and everything for a, one minute I was um, sort of like um, had hope because I thought that um, you know that maybe he could be brought back and I was willing to pay it you know two three hundred pounds whatever and I just wanted him I wanted him back so much and I just loved him with all my heart he was the best pet and he's you know such a pure and innocent and sweet soul he's the best pet that I've ever had and um I loved him with all my heart and you know he was my best animal friend my soulmate um animal friend to be um in natural fact um, he was my fur baby and, you know, a fur baby is a fur baby, whether it's a dog, cat, hamster, mouse, whatever, you know, and you love that creature and animal with all your heart and that was one of the, you know, the hardest things that I've been through, just seeing his lifeless body when I came home from work, but at the vets when they kind of like got him 
his eyes open a bit more. I really thought that there was hope, but then the other night, um, Vet came out and said, you know, you, you, you need to let him go now because he's very sick. And there's no words to express it. I just burst into tears and I was so sad. But they said, you know, that they could understand what I was going through because, you know, it doesn't matter what animal it is, he's still a little fur baby and everything, you know. But I just want to tell you all what happened and everything before anybody tell, um, ask about my hamster or anything because I know I go on Natalie's stream sometimes and they say, can I see your hamster and that, but I just want to tell you all that he's passed, he's, you know, but he's he's passed over in that, and in a sense I kind of like feel, kind of like, I feel really heartbroken and devastated in that, I really do, I loved him with all my heart and tried and I kind of like have all these bad thoughts in my mind and that now um I was thinking does did he feel neglected because I didn't take him to the vet sooner and I couldn't do anything for him <laughs> how did he feel before I died and before he died I don't know, but I want him to know that I loved him very much, but the vet came out afterwards and she said oh, you can um, be reassured that at least he had a peaceful send off and that because I know, I know that um, when I was talking to him, the vet says, I don't think he will, he will understand what you were saying and everything, but I believe that he, in his spirit, he did, because once when I, um, when he was still alive and healthy, and I was having a chat with him one night, and he wanted to climb, because he loved climbing and everything, he loved, um, climbing over, and I had to keep on, um, bringing him back and everything, and bringing him back, and at the time, of course, he didn't understand it was for his own safety and everything. But then I kind of like said, one day you will, you know, there is a place called heaven and you'll be able to run free. You'll be able to climb and there will be nothing there to hurt you. Or, you know, nothing there to harm you and everything. Because obviously hamsters are prey animals and anything would eat them. Cats, dogs, you know, badgers, um, birds of prey. So we have to keep them safe on this earth, but in heaven, you know, there is not, nothing that's going to hurt them anymore. Not, everything's going to be every, friends with everyone else, you know, up in heaven and everything. And I was telling him about heaven and everything I was and, um, you know, how Jesus loves him and God loves him and how God will, you know, one day let him go to that place. And that's why he, when he was still living and healthy and young and everything but when I went to the vets and um everything and they said um you know um we have to put him down and at the time I, I, I said I can't you know and they said I know it's hard but you have to let him go and everything um because he's only suffering and you know they brought him out and so I said to him, and I um, stroked him at the time, even though they thought he was unresponsive, I bet he heard it in, in his conscience. I said, it's okay, sweetheart, I said. I said, do you remember the place that I told you about? The place of heaven and where I said that you can roam free and climb and everything. You're just about to go to that place. I said to him, you know, you're just about to go there right now. And... I stroked him and how I loved that little thing, you know. He brought me so much joy when he was here. He used to run all over me. <laughs> I used to put him on my cushion and cuddle him and he loved climbing, he did. And, um, yeah, he, he's um, the best pet I've ever had, really. He just, you know, but he's not physically with us anymore. He's 
you know, not here anymore, in this world at least, he is, I believe, you know, I believe that he is um, in heaven and that with Jesus and that now. Um, I'm sure we, um, with many other f fair f friends, you know, dogs, cats, mice, gerbils, rats, other hamsters. I'm sure he's got lots of friends up there by now. Um, yeah, I just, in a sense, I'm just kind of like feel a bit guilty and sense and I just wish I'd seen the signs earlier in that but you know I think he knows that I look, do love him very much and you know we buried him buried him in my dad's garden and everything and I said the poem wrote a poem for him put a card in it put his favorite toy and buried him there with him and um I sang some songs, Bright Eyes, um, and said a prayer for him and came back today with a, like a clay rabbit for him and that held some flowers in, so I put that on his grave and I got him a little memorial come in, it's, and it says, you know, Roach, um, and that how we loved him and, you know, that we will meet again and everything. I know people might say, oh, you're a bit sensitive and stuff, but, you know, it is the way it is. I loved him with all my heart and everything, you know, and you can't change your feelings, you know, sort of thing. And you shouldn't change your feelings, really. Um, You know, he was far more to me. He was my best friend and, you know, my um soulmate, for animal version of a soulmate. And everything because they say we all have a spirit animal and I believe that Roach is my spirit animal and my fur baby and I just want to show this poem with you about Roach and this is what I wrote to my dear sweet Roach you are now free to climb to run free and climb you have been such joy been such joy my sweet fur baby boy you brought such happiness to my life and comforted me when my soul's been in strife. My beloved pet, you've been the best, for now I shall lay you down to rest. My heart tells me we shall meet again. My true, faithful best friend, over the rainbow bridge you shall now go, straight into your heavenly home, for death cannot keep us apart, for you'll always be in my heart, and you know that's some. Um, that's the way it is, that's, you know, how I feel about, and I'll always love him, and he'll always be a, you know, a treasure of my heart and everything, and, um, yeah, um, it's, um, strange really, because when I was at work and, um, everything, I, um, I don't know why, but I had a, Imagine Roach having a conversation with me and saying, you know, um, I know it's hard for you, but, you know, please let me go um, into that place and, you know, so I'm free and, you know, I want to go to that place you told me about and so I'm free from suffering and I want you to find another pet to love and, you know, but to me, you know, Roach can never be replaced. I couldn't, um, you know, like, um, that's why I, I wouldn't get, uh, get another hamster because, you know, Roach was my hamster and my special pet, but I might get myself a, a different kind of animal as a pet though, like, um, we're thinking about maybe getting a cat or something, so, next time, but, you know, I'm not, not going to rush into that yet, I just need to, you know, wait for, well, you know, our hearts to, well, not to heal, but to, because you never get over the, the, the loss of somebody that you love so much, but until we were able to sort of like move on a bit and, you know, have someone else there to, I, I guess it's not replacing them, but having 
you know, um, being able to give that love to some other creature, if you put it that way, because um, there's lots of creatures that need love too, other creatures out there that need love too and everything, and, you know, and um, I think that's what Roach would want. And Roach is such a sweet and he's such sweet, innocent and pure little creature he is, and I'm sure that he's made lots of friends up in heaven because, you know, such a nice little creature and everything. Anyway, thanks for listening and God bless you all. Bye for now.